Hey everyone, welcome back to Sense and Science. Today, we are going to explore a hidden masterpiece inside your body, the way your kidneys filter your blood. Every minute, they quietly clean out your blood, remove toxic waste, and keep you alive and yet, most people don't even know how. By the end of this video, you'll understand the entire blood filtration process step by step, and trust me, it's more amazing than you think. Why blood needs to be filtered? Let's start with the simple question. Why does your blood need filtering? As your body performs all kinds of activities such as breathing, digesting, and exercising, it also creates waste products. Think of these like the smoke and ash left over from a fire. If these waste products like urea, creatinine, and excess salt build up in your blood, they become toxic. Without kidneys, you'd literally be poisoned by your own body in just a few days. That's where your kidneys step in. They act like super smart, automated cleaning systems. Filtering up the bad while keeping the good. The structure behind blood filtration. Each kidney contains about a million tiny filtering units called nephrons. Every single one is capable of processing blood at all on time. Each nephron starts with a structure called the glomerulus, a tiny ball of capillaries surrounded by a cup-shaped part called Bowman's capsule. Here's what happens. Blood flows into the glomerulus at high pressure. The pressure forces water, urea, salt, glucose, and other small molecules out of the blood and into bone and cow. The larger molecules, like red blood cells and proteins, are too big to pass through the filter, so they stay in the bloodstream. It's selective and efficient. How blood is filtered. Let us break the filtration process down into clear steps so you can really see the magic. Step 1. Aptic arteria to bring some blood. Unfiltered blood enters the nephron through the aptic arteria which will it with waste. Step 2. The glomerulus filter. In the glomerulus, the blood is under high pressure. Think of it like squeezing a sponge only tiny droplets come out. What comes out is called filtrated containing water, urea, salt, glucose, and amino acids, and waste. Step 3. Bowman's capsule collects the filter. This filtrate flows into Bowman's capsule and then moves into the nephron's tubules for the next stage. Reabsorption and secretion. Step 4. The effort arterial carries clean blood away. After filtering, the remaining clean blood exits through the effort arterial, rejoining your bloodstream. Here's a fun fact. In just one day, your kidneys filter about 50 gallons or 190 liters of blood, but only 1 to 2 liters become urine. The rest is kept and reused. The role of selective permeability. Now, you might ask how does the glomerulus know what to let through and what to keep? It's all about selective permeability. The walls of the glomerulus are made of specialized cells with tiny pores only small molecules can pass through. Bigger ones like proteins or red blood cells are blocked. It has a perfect balance of structure and function of biological filter that is more efficient than any machine When filtration goes wrong, but what happens when this process fails? If your glomeruli get damaged from diabetes, high blood pressure, or infection proteins, and blood cells may leak into urine, this is a red flag and can lead to kidney failure. That is why doctors often test the urine for protein or blood if it's clues about kidney health. So, let's appreciate this. Your kidneys are working 24 seconds, filtering your blood, protecting your body from toxins, and deciding what to eat and what to throw out. This filtration process is the first step in urine formation, fluid balance, and even blood pressure control. It's a hidden system, but without it, life simply wouldn't be possible. That's it for today now, you know how your kidneys filter blood, molecule by molecule, drop by drop. Leave a comment if you're amazed by this invisible power inside your body. And if you learned something, type, respect the kidney, down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. This is Sense and Science, and we've got more body wonders coming your way. See you next time.